So I've had a couple of people ask how I made this lamp. Um, found it on the internet and liked the design. It wasn't exactly the same design, but I was like, I can make that. So I first opened up Fusion 360 and designed this ring down here. Um, and had to play with it a little bit because I wanted to uh, fuse the light so you're not seeing individual pixels exactly. Um, I used white PLA. Um, I think it was Amazon's brand, but I guess they don't sell it anymore. Um, but I think some other company kind of took that over. I'll drop a link if I, uh, I can find that. So I designed this ring a couple times. Um, and then I uh, found some wood I kind of liked um, just laying around. And we, uh, you need a three and a quarter inch hole saw and two and one eighth hole saw. And I would recommend putting a piece of junk wood down underneath your good piece of wood. Drill the smaller hole first. Uh, take out the scrap piece of wood and then dr drill because the middle drill bit of the hole saw will leave a mark in the second piece of wood that will line up the next hole saw to be correctly as close as can be these teeth will cut into it slightly that's why the shape is these circles aren't perfect unless you got some special cutting tool to make them perfect um, this is the best you're going to get so i sanded them stained them um choice of color is up to you in the end how smooth you want them to be up to you in the end i started getting a little tired of the project trying to get it done over a weekend didn't take that long it took about i don't know four hours i believe because what slowed me down was the soldering and gluing so uh, once you print the rings, um, you can go as high as you want. I just choose to go with four. Um, so you'll have to do nine LEDs on a strip. Uh, solder the wires on both ends here. I heat shrink them on uh, both sides. Then I wrap them around the ring like this. Then I zip tie it. Now, one thing to be careful about if you're going to actually do this is make sure your feed wire is going in the right direction and then your out wire goes in the right direction. Or you'll get a weird reverse effect. Like on the bottom, it's going one direction and in the, the middle, they're both going in the same direction in the top. I uh, messed up and flipped flipped it the wrong way in the circle so one thing to be one thing to pay attention to um then ideally all you have to do is once you feed the wires through on one side and then feed the other wires through the other side you will put a piece of wood in between and i use super glue which actually bonded really well with the wood and the plastic um did like a zigzag pattern on the ring itself the plastic ring uh, lined it up while it was still you know not tacked down yet to be spaced correctly on the rings because this white ring is actually smaller than the wood i tried to make it exact but because of the hole saw and its teeth it was just too hard um, i would have been printing rings and rings and rings just to make it perfect for each one and it wasn't worth it to me um so yeah glue that you're just sandwiching them in between um i like the zip tie it made it nice and clean i had nice little tiny loops in here i wish i wouldn't have super glued everything and then i hot glued the top together i could pry it apart but i truly don't want to <laughs> it works um this switch here um if you push it once uh it will turn it on, turn it off. If you hold it in, it switches through the routines that are set up through WLED. Um, but this switch is a latching switch. Um, I'll put a description down. Uh, in the description, I'll have a link for this switch. What I ended up doing is taking a grinder 
and grinding the bottom because it's flanged to hold the piece of plastic in. I just slightly grinded that away and then I was able to pull the switch out of there and get rid of the latch part of it and then slide it back in and I super glued that. You could probably use hot glue, but I super glued it. Um, that's just so it's just a momentary switch instead of a latching switch. Now you can buy a momentary switch, but I couldn't find them in a five pack. Like this, I think I spent 11 bucks on and they wanted $9 just for a momentary one. And I was like, that's ridiculous. So up to you on which way you want to go. Um, if you, you can maybe find them cheaper on like AliExpress or something, but up to you. Um, WLED, awesome program. Uh, Dr. Z's has done quite a minute, quite a few videos on how to set up LEDs, how to, you know, program the chips, how to, he, he does the whole rundown on it. So I'm going to drop a link down there to his. Uh, channel if you have questions I'm not going to go through all that and programming and soldering he, he talks all about that um, if there's a question you know in the comments I might be able to point you in the right direction if if his link didn't um, yeah so that's my lamp kids love it my son's trying to steal it for me which I might give it to him but kind of like it on the desk here so um, if you want subscribe um, hit the thumbs up if you want to if not whatever I randomly will do videos but I'm not gonna be an everyday person just when I come up with an idea thanks have a good day